Hi there folks, this is Paleo again with another Shogun replay. This time I'm against um, Rapax Spartacle on um, the map Waterfalls. Um, I quite like Waterfalls, it's an interesting map. Although because of the way the cap points tend to be arranged, it's always a case of taking the high ground. Um, as we'll see in this match, I tend to find that um, a lot of brushing occurs on this map because I think everything's fairly close together. I think it's a good map for uh, team games, more than anything, but um, nonetheless we'll see what kind of battle happens here. So I'll just pause this momentarily and we'll see what we both have. So um, I have a non lone sword army this time, ah, but you didn't expect that. So um, I have two upgraded bow samurai, I have two just normal nodachis, three pretty vetted katana samurai, um, Two Nijinata warrior monks. I have two great guard hidden in this little forest, as well as a Yari Ashigaru and some matchlock warrior monks. My opponent has well, we can't really see his full army yet. I'll let him walk out first. But um, he has two of these bow monks and uh, two Yari Ashigaru. I think he may be a three. I think he has another one hidden in there, and several somewhat ranked up katana samurai. Along with, it has some lone swords hidden, I think, and um, some legendary monks, as well as some matchlocks as well. Um, he has very stupidly decided not to bring any cav. Uh, there's his little three melee units, lone swords, Yariash Garu, and another unit of legendary warrior monks. So, you know, his units aren't. Oh, and he's a melee general. Yeah, his units are all somewhat ranked up for the most part, and. Um, as we'll see, we're coming to the skirmishing phase here, and this is a sword dojo. And I just realised I left my sound on, which is probably be playing through this microphone. That should be better. Anyway, so we begin the skirmishing phase here, and um, our both samurai are just, you know, I activated stand and fight to give them a little boost, and as you can see, they go up to 80 reload skill and 60 accuracy, which is actually quite a bit better than his bow monks. Well, they have more accuracy, but they can't fire arrows as fast. But uh, as you see, you know, I'm slowly kind of grinding them down in this particular skirmishing phase. And, um, you know, I don't have as much ammo as he does, so um, I'm just going to try and kill his archers here, which is what I do. I mean, I don't normally bring two units of archers, I normally just bring one, because I find, I don't know, they're only really useful for morale debuffs unless you've got bow monks. And bow monks are very expensive. As we're seeing here, getting kind of torn up. But um, what I decide to do is I'm going to kind of. I notice, you know, this kind of archer unit is getting beaten up, so I start moving my cav out to see if I can chase his archers off and get get a few free shots. So he starts moving all his spears to the right, so I split my cav off into two, and he continues. He doesn't realise until the last minute. He starts moving these ones back. I think he thought I was going to go for this other unit, but I went straight through the middle. And I see these are 41 just now. Uh, the charge happens. And these go down to about 15. And yeah, I do use a, lose a couple of great guards, the spears, and a few from his matchlocks, but I think in this case, you know, six great guard, I got half a unit of, well, what was remaining was bones, I got about 15 of those. And, you know, so I think it was worth it. And uh, so essentially, this is me defe defeating his archers at this point. And um, I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit until we get some more movement on. Yeah, so at this point, because his bow monks are getting kind of mashed up, yeah, I'm getting ready to start moving my uh, bows forward and see if I can pick off these matchlocks. Because uh, at this point, like I'm looking at these sort of kind of samurai and lone swords, and you know they're fairly upgraded. You know, he's, he's got a lot of charge bonus on them, but it's not really going to make much difference against the Dachi because they have a much higher charge bonus in a way. Well, aside from these upgraded katana samurai, they've got a pretty decent charge bonus on them. Anyway, as we see, that's his archers pretty much beaten up. Um, these will rip momentarily. And here they go. Bye bye, well, archers. So, the archers are out, and um, because he's had these Yari Ashigaru in front, they're getting pretty beat up as well. But I mean, they're really just fodder units, as anyone will know. Um, fodder units and for tangling up Cav. But what he does here is he's bringing these forward. And I thought he was going to try and charge my archers with these initially. But um, nope, he starts bringing his matchlocks forward to take on the archers, which generally isn't a good idea. At this point, he should have actually 
probably got his charge on the go. But I think he, he's trying, like I didn't notice at this, t this point, but um, he's using this unit to capture the, try and capture the sword dojo. But um, at this point I'm just chewing his archers up. Um, my, bow monk, um, my bow sams are really quite low on ammo at this time. I see him moving his general around here, so I move my archers back a little bit. And just to keep them out of range of uh, these uh, matchlocks. His matchlocks aren't very good, they only get 10 accuracy. Well, sorry, 10 reload and 50 accuracy. So, um, yeah. Lone match locks are a lot better than that. Well, I didn't really get to use them, as we'll see later. But yeah, I just continue kind of picking these off, as we can see. And, you know, the units in lines like this I find are kind of annoying for archers, because a lot of the arrows will just go straight over them, like that. But, uh, it's still funny to watch them kind of get picked off and rearrange themselves repeatedly. Uh, if you had me in a lane like that, with and a bunch of barely trained people, I would just run away immediately. I ain't getting shot for this bastard. Anyway, as you can see, you know, these are wavering now, so neither these will route in the next... Well, they would have routed in the next volley or so if I hadn't completely run out of ammo. So um, at this point I just decided I'm going to charge him, because I noticed at this point that he's got this uh, sword dojo almost captured, so I decided, you know, this has got to be the minute of attacking. So um, I've unstand and fighted my general so I can move him up closer. This guy doesn't have any cavalry range units, so um, I'm pretty certain that I can just move my general up in relative safety. He's not going to get sort of flanked or anything. Um, the Bosams, like, they're useful because they've got 6 melee attack at the minute, which is actually more than the Yari Ashigaru have. And um, he actually he charges his matchlocks at them for some reason, I'm not really sure why he did that. But he um, did that probably, probably for the same reason as me, just to try and give the units a bit of a run for their money. But, um, you know, these Bosams fuck up his charge, and all, most of his units, so he puts his Magnatus forward. And then, because he did, did, did that, I just had to move my cab around the back. Let's see if we can get any charges from the dodgy. Squish. I think these guys are very uh, hard, so... As you can see, I'm moving my cab, and this is the kind of deciding point of the battle. He's got Warcry on all my units, so they're starting to kind of... And the dodgy's are wavering a little bit. Uh, some of his units are wavering, so... At this point, I get my Nijinata Warrior Monks in. The General's happily and standing right at the back. He's very unprotected, but no calves. So here, if we watch carefully, I get a war cry and a rear charge off at the same time. Right there. And chain mode. So, I mean, he's got an army of sort of quite heavy in the melee units, quite a big force. And he, charges his, he manages to charge a general straight through all the units, which I didn't expect. And he goes for my general, but at this point it's far too late. All his units are wavering and breaking. Um, He's just got his general left. My general's quite high melee defense, so he's not too worried. I've got my thoughts firing on their general. But at this point, the, the, the battle is essentially over. Although, I'm going to watch this little battle just for fun. Because it's always hilarious to watch. Yeah, I never really got like, why they have these bone things on their backs. Uh, you know, my friend told me it's to stop arrows or some such, but. Well, you never know. But, yeah, here we see that's his general just routed. Oh, about to rip. Ah, it's him gone now. There we go. So, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the battle. You can see where the <laughs> everything has died horribly. And, um, I hope you enjoyed this replay. It's now going back to the menu. I don't know. I'll, I suppose we'll just leave in. I don't know if it will give me the uh, battle rundown at the end of it. I'm not sure if it does that or not. I shouldn't really leave on the loading screen. This just takes up more uh, space on the video file. Oh, no, back to the main menu. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and that's the end of that.